In today's video, I review this TTS Pro 20 watt laser. But before we get into today's video, just want to share with you what the GGGGs are for this month. Each month, Bob the Beholder picks some of my Patreon supporters. And for this month of September of 2023, we have this printed and painted Hellgate from a Hell of Terrain Kickstarter. We have two pledges for a Hell of Terrain Kickstarter. We have $100 going towards a crowdfunding campaign, which my Patreon supporters are currently voting upon. And then finally, we have this machine. This laser is being added to the GGGG list. Go ahead and use the link below to go to my Patreon page. And for just a dollar, you can get in on the chance of being chosen by Bob to receive one of these gratitude gifts. So a company called Two Trees reached out to me to see whether or not I would be interested in doing a review for them. And I said yes, and they sent me this 20 watt laser. Now, most of the lasers that I have already reviewed have primarily been 10 watt lasers. The one 20 watt laser that I did review was the, the X-Tool Pro, which I really think highly about and kept for myself. But let's go ahead and unbox this, see how easy it is to put together right away. It is larger, the box is larger than the other uh, lasers that I've received. So I'm guessing that there might be a little bit less assembly that is required with this model. They also did send me this package of material, sample materials that we can try to engrave and cut. So we'll go ahead and use this as well. So let's go ahead with the unboxing. All right, so this is everything that came out of the box. We do have the frame already put together, so you're gonna save time putting the frame together. It did come with a honeycomb bed, which is awesome. Typically, you have to buy this separately, and it looks like they have a steel plate underneath that is removable so that you can clean out the bits that fall through. We also have some screws to hold down things onto the honeycomb. We have an air assist that's included. Again, this is usually something that you have to buy separately, but this is the air assist along with the tube uh, to connect up. We have the laser box right here. And again, this is gonna be 20 watts and all of the bits and pieces we need to put it together. We have the USB cable in order to connect to the computer. I'll be using my laptop to connect. We have the product manual here. We have protective eyewear, uh, a micro SD adapter and micro SD card, and the power supply here, and then the tools and Allen wrenches needed to put it together. So let's go ahead and um, assemble it as it doesn't look like it's gonna take very long to do that. So I was able to put this together relatively quickly because again, the most of the gantry was already put together and assembled. So I only needed to put um, a couple of screws in place to put this block on as well as the uh, limiter switch on there was relatively quick and then also some cable management and that was really the only things that uh, was required to put this together so overall I think assembly is faster than any of the other lasers that I have worked with diode lasers that I've worked with now Granted, most of the diode lasers you are going to be able to put together maybe anywhere between 20, 30 minutes. And this one was shorter by 10 to 15 minutes to put this together. So very, very quick. Also, um, you know, the big test is whether or not Lightburn can automatically set it up. And I had success. Lightburn was able to recognize this machine and was very quickly able to set up my first print and run my first uh, laser and cutting relatively quickly so that was a definite bonus since i've had a number of machines where trying to have lightburn recognized machine was really really difficult and i had to download uh, special files and things like that and in this case with this machine uh, definitely was super simple to do so got to cutting right away and was able to cut out this house actually this is a free file from war cradle provided that and links in the descriptions below if you want to pick this up. Now, 
Uh, this isn't the greatest file in the world because uh, I thought it was meant for three millimeter wood um, and it definitely, the holes are too thin. So I actually had to shave down all of the tabs to make them fit in. So maybe a little bit less than three millimeters, maybe 2.6 or maybe 2.8 millimeters. I'm not sure, but you know, it's free. So this is a good way to test whether or not the laser is working. And sure enough, making all the cuts and engraving, as you can see on this piece, makes it look super cool. So you can definitely make gaming terrain off of it if you're able to find the laser files and there is a lot available online, either for purchase or for free. Also, I think this engraving on metal looks awesome. On this blue, it's super clear. Uh, on this uh, just plain metal, it didn't turn out very well but I think the colored metal definitely, it looks very, very crisp and clean, which is one of the tests that I wanna see when uh, things are being engraved. So super cool, you're able to make personal business cards if you want. The other thing that I really like about this machine is actually the honeycomb bed, as well as these um, pegs. Now I recognize these as sort of automotive screws that hold together sort of the plastic bits on your car. And so I think it's just ingenious that they include this because they're perfect for holding down your stock. I know a lot of the thin plywood that I have is warped. And so having these, a simple solution to holding it down on flat onto the bed is super ingenious. And the fact that they include this is awesome. Um, I'm definitely gonna go to the automotive store to pick these up for my own honeycomb machine since this is one of the uh, giveaways. So uh, kudos to Two Trees for coming up with this idea and also for including the honeycomb bed, I think is great as well as the air pump so that it is blowing away any of the debris um, and smoke while the laser is cutting. The only negative that I have with this machine is that the power supply going into this unit over here uh, sometimes cuts off for whatever reason. I think the connection is a little bit weak there, uh, but I was able to make all of the cuts um, as is with no interruption. Just maybe that's just particular to this machine, but overall it still works fine and everything else about it um, I like a lot. There are adjusters actually for the belt so you can um, tighten these belts with these thumb screws, which is really handy as well. And if I were keeping this machine, I would actually cut this excess band off uh, once I found the right tension. I didn't mess with the tension at all and as is it cut really, really well and precisely so that wasn't an issue or a problem. Also another thing to know is that the size of the cut is actually bigger than this honeycomb bed. So you actually have more space and more room with this than I originally thought. So that's just something to keep in mind and I know that with these styled lasers, you're also able to cut into and engrave into colored acrylic, not the clear acrylic, but the colored acrylic. So that's another option too. Now the curious thing about this machine is I do know that they have sort of a newer model and it's a, a couple hundred dollars more expensive than this one if you do include the honeycomb bed as well as the air assist or the, the air pump. And it looks like it has automatic focusing so that might be a feature, if that's a feature that you want and you're willing to pay a little bit more, I would go ahead and do that. Um, I think it's the same head, the laser head that is on this machine, but because this machine is so plug and play and was up and running so quickly, um, I think that would be a great upgrade if you wanted automatic focusing. In this, you have to manually uh, do the focusing, which I do with all of my dial lasers. I've never had a machine that did automatic focusing. It's not a big deal to do that manually, but if you want that feature and a little bit, it looks a little bit more modern than the design that we have here. But really, other than that, this machine was great. Um, I actually had to turn down one of the manufacturers who sent me a laser to come out with a review because it was so bad. I could not get it to work very well with light burn. It took, took forever to set it up. And then when I did, it just didn't function very well. So. I, I just said to them, you know, I can't do a video for you guys because I only do videos for things that I can recommend. So this laser from Two Trees, I can definitely give the Gaming Geek stamp of approval. And having the 20 watt, especially twice the power as you would with a 10 watt, just makes cutting faster and easier. And that was definitely the case in cutting out this piece here. 
So go ahead and like the video and subscribe because I do have another laser coming next month and we'll be reviewing that and possibly that will be one of the GGGGs for next month as well. Otherwise, use the link to get in on this month and the possibility for receiving this from Bob the Beholder at the end of the month. Happy lasering. We'll see you next time.